What's up, you guys? This is Mikey coming back at you with another review for Kelly T and her page. Uh, this week I was given an amazing death metal album, and I am excited and honored to do this review because um, I'm actually friends with Destroyer. The, that's the front man. That's what he goes by on Facebook, and me and him have talked a little bit. Very nice guy, uh, dedicated and talented musician. And um, the album is called Devoid of Morality. And uh, it's from a band that goes by Spirit's Way. And they come all the way from uh, Warsaw, Poland. Now this album is 8 tracks long, clocks in at uh, 41 minutes. And it was released December 11th, 2015. So it's been a little bit since we've um, seen some new music. But I know that um, everybody else in the band uh, does other projects. Really good stuff. Like I know Destroyer, he's also a part of Black Altar. And they're about to release a split. Um, sounds great. They actually have a music video video up right now for that um, but anyways to get back to Spirit's Way this album is straight death metal it's got little touches of black here and there but nothing that would can make it considered black and death but just little little touches to kind of spice it up guitars come in strong with riffs and uh, some solos here and here and there too that was uh, very nice to kind of switch it up a little bit. Uh, very chuggy, very just demanding, and uh, drums coming out just blasting on all all ends. You got blast beats, you got gravity blasts, and uh, vocally is very very powerful. It spits venom out every time you hear it. Very low gutturals that just really define what this album is about and um, the album also can be found on Bandcamp um, I believe when I purchased it um, the minimum price was like two dollars and fifty cents or something like that so there's no reason why um, you can't you know add this to your collection it is worth it you will be coming back to it uh, I guarantee you that because this is really good stuff. Now, with this album being released in 2015, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, coming up, you know, we hear some new stuff coming from them. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Um, this album is going to just rock your socks off. And I know that sounds a little cheesy saying that, but it's just pummeling. It's, uh, the sound is good. The sound is like, um, if you had the production on point and then with every little thing, you just turn it up a little bit because it blasts out of your speakers. And I've been jamming this on my way to work, uh, to and from for about a week straight now. And I mean, I feel like a badass driving down with my windows down and, uh, blaring it. It's uh, good. It's fun. If uh, anybody who just loves death metal that doesn't like to um, try to flirt around with this and that, but just wants to be straight, good, quality, destruction, just death metal, I mean, this is it. I I'm actually have been very impressed with the past few weeks of the albums that I've been getting because... Um, you know, this is another flawless album that I have zero complaints on. I am glad that I was the one to um, interview this album. Um, Thomas, or Destroyer, great job. You know, keep it up, man. And I just cannot wait to hear what else comes out. Uh, yeah, I would give it two thumbs up, two middle fingers, you know, fuck it. Love it. All right. See you guys.